was about eight years old and I was outside playing with my friends, running around racing the, the little boys that were in our neighborhood. And my mom saw me racing them barefoot on the concrete. And she's like, go put some shoes on and go race them again. And I raced the little boys again and I won <laughs> again. <laughs> so she was like, okay, we need to get you in track. Texas sprinter Tiana Daniels' competitive spirit was ignited at an early age. By the friction of her feet moving faster than her competition and the thrill of victory she often shared with her father, William. He was supportive of everything that I did, literally everything, like track, school. Gator fan all the way, Gator fan all the way, and loved Gators. And when I told him that I didn't, wasn't interested in going to UF anymore, he was like, you sure, baby? When I told him I was coming to Texas, he was, all right, we Longhorn, so that's your team, that's my team. First, he had a huge Gator tattoo on his arm, but then he got the Longhorns back here, so I was like, all right, <laughs> he's still supportive. Her daddy loves track and field, and he loves Tiana, loves seeing Tiana do track and field. That was her biggest fan. I saw him especially at every Texas Relays. Even though Tiana's father lived in Orlando, Florida, he began making trips to Austin in 2015 to see his daughter run. On January 20th, 2018, William drove the 1,100 miles for a special visit. The car that I had didn't have heat in it, so my mom bought me another car. My dad was like, I'm gonna drive this car to Texas and give it to my baby. And so, so it so happened that I did have a meeting in a and I didn't run in it because I had the flu, but he was still there, sitting in the stands, cheering me on. He came to Austin to like hang out with me afterwards and then you know, give me my car. And we just spent the whole weekend together. He was taking care of me. So it was like, I got to... Sorry. <laughs> I had to see him before before everything happened. Less than a week later, on January 26th, Tiana was in Lubbock, Texas, getting ready for an indoor meet. I'm going downstairs, I'm on the elevator, and my mom calls me, and like, and she's like, like in a panic, kind of. She's with my sister. As I get off the elevator, my sister says, T, Dad died. I could just tell by what she was saying on the phone that like something wasn't right. She drops to the floor and it starts crying and she starts yelling like, my dad, my dad, my dad. All I remember is my body like going numb and I just fell to the floor and I just started to cry. <laughs> I just started to cry and all I want to do is really like call him. Yeah, I wanted to call him and like, and like say it's not true. Like, she really wanted to call him and say, nah, dad, you still here? Like, they're lying to me. <laughs> William Daniels died of a stroke. He was 62 years old. Days afterwards, I was, I was pretty numb. Pretty numb to it. Didn't want to accept it. I'll say months after, I was still, when say I bounced back, I still had doubts. I was like, do I even still want to run? I questioned myself and I, I was wondering if I did still want to run. Less than four months after her father's death, Tiana stepped back onto the track for the Big 12 Outdoor Championship to compete in the 100 meter race. I was really worried because I had felt like, what if she, you know, she jumped back into it real quick? She was really calm. She knew what she had to do. And she knew what she was doing it for. We all knew what she was doing it for. Finals comes around and I don't know what came over me, but I just shoot out the blocks. I was like, all right, I'm in front. I'm good, I'm, I'm settled. And then I just get another boost. I think that's where I got it from. Him, for sure, my dad, for sure. He was like, you did not come here to lose. All 
I could think about is just dropping down and saying, thank you, God. <laughs> thank you, Daddy. It was nice to see her drop to her knees this time for something much better than it was last time. Last time was in the hotel when she'd first found out, and then this time it was of just joy. As the 2019 outdoor track and field season continues, Tiana is still running. But now the adrenaline rush that drives her comes less from the competitors at her side and more from a memory. I think that fire is still lit under her for sure. I think that she knows when she steps on the track, it's not just about her, it's about her dad, because he's watching. I actually have a, a voicemail of his, and I listen to it sometimes. Hi, baby. Good morning. I'm home. I'm not going anywhere. I think about him all the time, especially during track meets and, and during races. And I know he's always at the finish line. At the finish line, and I'm running to him. Yeah, I'm running to him.